So a holiday dinner is nothing without dessert. And this is a little trick, a little sauce that I like to use in multiple ways for the holidays. A ganache is a simple mix of chocolate and cream. Warm the cream in a makeshift double boiler and the chocolate on top. So as the cream simmers, the chocolate melts, and then I mix them together. Warm cream, warm chocolate, they want to get to know each other. They're happy. It's the holidays. So I like to add a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of orange zest, and just a little bit of rum. Rum really brings out that great chocolate taste for the holidays. If you're cooking for kids, you can leave it out. It's no problem. But definitely the cinnamon in that orange adds that little holiday like, hey, what did you put in here? And you just have to say, it's just chocolate and cream. And then the other thing I add is a, the tiniest pinch of salt. So now you can see that the chocolate is somewhat melted and the cream is steaming hot. So they're both a similar temperature. Now just simply pour the cream over the chocolate and just gently whisk the two together. So there we have the ganache. And now I'll just add all my little flavorings, a little bit of the cinnamon, a little bit of that orange zest, the rum if you're using it, and just that tiny, tiny pinch of salt. Whisk it together. And now you have holiday ganache. All right, so here's a great example of what you can do with this ganache. You see this innocent, sweet, unassuming yellow cake? You could use a store-bought cake, make your own ganache, and kind of feel like you made the whole thing from scratch. You could tell everybody, I got up early and I baked this cake and I worked really hard when in fact you didn't. And you can just add your special enriched ganache on top like a frosting. And plus, it's super fun to do this. Now, I like to let this cool just a tiny bit, the ganache, before I pour it over the cake. Just let it cool at room temperature a little bit because it'll thicken up a little bit as it cools. And then I just pour it right over the cake. This is so fun. Heat some milk, add that ganache right in there, and whisk, and you have a holiday hot chocolate, which I love. This is definitely a time of year where you have a lot of cakes, a lot of pies, and a lot of cookies. If I put out a platter of holiday cookies, all different kinds, this hot chocolate just kind of rounds out and makes it more like the ritual of holiday dessert. And that ganache is another way you can use it. Just warm some whole milk, Stir some of the ganache in. You can make it more chocolatey by adding more, or even a little more delicate by adding a little less. Pour that into a cup. I know you're thinking, right? Like I should only put a little, right? <laughs> yeah. If it's not messy and it doesn't drip over the sides, it's not a holiday hot chocolate. It's just an average hot chocolate. We're going holiday here, people. Huddle up. Now that's a holiday hot chocolate. Thank you.